on that. Bunny. Yes. Are you ready for another exciting, pulse-pounding, bottom-slapping installment of everyone's favorite podcast segment in the world, Bunny Versus? Are you ready? Are you pumped? Are you amped? Are you jazzed? Are you psyched? Are you primed? Are you revved up? Are you hyped up? Are you ready to go? Are you riled up? Are you ready to take that hill? Are you ready? Might as well, since I'm sitting here anyway. Okay. Well, without any further ado, it's time once again for Bunny Versus. And now here is your host, Bonnie Williams, take it away, Bonnie! I've said it before, and I, I, I will say it again. What we do in shadows is just the fucking shadows. genius. The shadows. What we do in the shadows. Uh, the TV show, the movie, or both? All of it. I started with fucking bit of I, it. I started recently getting into Wellington Paranormal. Which is really good. Isn't that, because, isn't that only in New Zealand, though? They started showing it uh, uh, on Sundays on the CW. Really? Guess, uh, yeah. Oh, I would. Yeah, have to and check I really that like. Out. I really like watching it on the CW because it's on TV, so they have closed captioning. Because sometimes I just have a hard time with the New Zealand accent. Yeah. I don't when I watch What We Do in the Shadows, but then I watch Wellington Paranormal, and I don't know, maybe it's a different dialect, a different area of New Zealand, I don't know. But I really like watching it on TV, on the CW. I, I don't know if anyone's watching it on the CW, but I like watching it on there because the closed captioning, it makes it so much easier to watch. It's really dumb and fucking wonderful. And and I have and and Mal and I have yet to see the 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 season finale of the TV show What We Do in the Shadows, but so we've for watched. those who don't know, and to make sure that I, I, I do know what you're talking about, because I'm pretty sure, but that is that is the show that they did, which basically took the cops from the original movie, yes, and put them into their own show. So the cops that showed up to investigate the killings that the vampire... When the vampires killed the vampire hunter who killed Peter... Yeah. They showed up to investigate and were hypnotized so they didn't see anything. Yes. They got their own show where they keep getting called to different paranormal... Yeah, and that was on New Zealand television. So what we do in the shadows was a worldwide hit... So they decided to work on two different spin-offs, a spin-off in America and a spin-off in New Zealand. In America, we got what we do in the Shadows the TV series, which is fucking wonderful and just ended its third season. And I believe which is that why Wellington I'm Paranormal. Up. Yeah. And Wellington Paranormal, which is the New Zealand spin-off, I I believe they're about to end the third season or maybe start the fourth season in New Zealand, what? but there's a bunch of Wellington Paranormal episodes, and they just recently started showing them on the CW on Sundays around 5 or 6 or 7. It might change with, with each different uh, CW network. I don't know. but And now, from what I... If I remember correctly, the next spinoff will be a spinoff just of the werewolves, not swearwolves from the movie. <laughs> So I'm really excited uh, about that. I don't know if I'm that in was, love with that. They're, they're fun in their bit, but like I don't think I could take a whole like... Yes, but this will be a New Zealand spinoff and will feature... Uh, what's his name? Rhys Darby? Rhys Allen? The guy who was the manager of the Flight of the Concords. Right. Because be he's sort of... He, yeah, he's the leader of the werewolves in the New Zealand one. Like, I don't like the idea of a werewolf spinoff from the American show, but I would really dig that from the New Zealand show as long as they got that exact same guy who was in Flight of the Concords because he's fucking amazing. 
I will give any of anything they do. I will give a shot. Yeah, because like, I was like, not. The things that they're already doing shouldn't be working, but they're fucking genius. Yeah, I did not think that an American spinoff of what we do in the shadows was going to work, but fuck, that's a wonderful show. That is an absolutely wonderful show. And what I find, what I find really, what, what I love about it, okay, now first, if I had to put what, what we do in the shadows into a category, into a group, I think it would be fair to put it in the same group of Adam's family and the monsters. What do you think? The TV show? Yeah. Yes, I would do that, yes. The big difference being, though, which really makes it, which really separates it, is that the Adams Family and the Monsters are funny because, ooh, ooh, look how weird and strange they are. Whereas the Vampires and what we do in Shadows they're funny for, like, how ordinary they are. Yeah. Where what's ordinary is becomes what's hysterical. Yeah. That's a good assessment of that situation. Like, they have, they have the Baron over, <clears throat> and they have to move the Stairmaster. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Creepy paper. Yeah. Yeah. I like Creepy glitter so I can twi so I can glitter like twilight. <laughs> and I just love the idea of 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 a familiar being a Latino who wants to become a vampire because of how obsessed he was with Antonio Banderas in Interview with a Vampire. I fucking love that. Yeah. Oh. Well, just, just all around Guillermo. I just love Guillermo. Like yeah. I said to Jeannie, like, like I want to give him a cookie and hope everything gets better. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh man. He, it, it was so great seeing him in Werewolves Within. Yeah. I'm so fucking. Babe, don't say Mexican. Just say standoff. <laughs> fucking love. Fucking love him in that movie. Oh, I am all about Jackie Daytona. Oh, best Jackie episode Daytona. of a TV show ever. I hope. I hope Jack. I hope. I hope. Uh, <coughs> I I hope the girl comes back, who was the bartender who worked for Jackie Daytona. Yeah. I hope eventually she comes back. I would like that. That, like, she fell in love with Jackie Daytona and she wants to make it work. I don't care if he's a vampire. And goes hunting for him so that they can be together. I would like to see that. Yeah. You know? The Jackie Daytona callback. That would be wonderful. I've gotten so many spoilers that I know exactly what happens with Colin Robinson. See, I have, I have not, I have stayed away from all spoilers because I'm not on Tumblr as much as you are, and people on my Twitterverse aren't talking about what we do in the shadows. So, okay, and I'm still a season behind. I haven't done season three yet, so be gentle. Yeah, there's some great things happening in season three. There's more of a, there's more of a reoccurring plot. Throughout all of season three, you know, like so, so that's good. There's there's a plot that that kind of goes throughout the entire season that you don't really realize is even there until near the end of the season. It's it's really good. It's really good. They're not doing like a, a sort uh, of butterfly thing. Okay. I'm just gonna say okay. that. Okay. Okay. Keep it keep it clean. Keep it clean. Don't want any what we do in the shadows spoilers. But I love that movie, and I love the TV shows, the American version, the, the New Zealand version. I'm really excited that they're sort of creating a what we do in the shadows verse, and I am all for that. <coughs> and the fact that Jackie Daytona was in Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, oh my God, 
If you haven't seen Garth Marenghi's Dark Place, it's all of the episodes are on YouTube for free. Go and see that shit. Oh, man, that's fucking hilarious. They sort of nail a Stephen King-esque sort of person. You know? They sort yeah. of nail like a Stephen King, not a Stephen King, but maybe a Dean Koontz type person. Yeah. But anyway, Bunny. I, I love what we do in Shadows, like every much as, as every bit as much as I fucking hate YouTube. Yeah. Nice transition there, huh? Did you see that? Yeah, that is a good that? transition. Did you see what did there? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh 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 I'm doing pretty good. Uh our gazebo got trashed. Yeah. Uh the beginning of the, this week we had a uh wind advisory. The weather got insane. It it, the, it wasn't the weather, it was just the wind. For for about two days we had uh fifty five mile per hour winds in Oklahoma. The uh Oklahoma where the wind is fucking screaming down the plane. Yep. And the raging wheat, it would smell sweet, but it doesn't because it got blown away by the fifty five mile per hour winds. The I, wind I, I'm still finding myself stuck at you had a gazebo? Yeah, we had a trampoline. Do you have a we, carriage house, too? We had a trampoline that we bought in the beginning of the pandemic, and uh, we, had to, we had to take that down. And uh, we wanted to put something in its place, and one day my, my wife and I are just shopping, and she sees the gazebo, and she's just like, I can picture us in here in the backyard and we're drinking and we've put some lights up and we're getting high and this can be our hangout spot. Do you want to buy it? And so we just bought it. It was like 150 bucks. It was big and it was huge. And sure enough, that was the place where we would go and get high together. My wife and I, we would have a pre-roll and we'd smoke it outside and we'd have some uh, cocktails. It was a nice place for, for – uh, for when I'm a woman and I'm all dressed up and I yeah. want to get drunk and hang out with my wife and so she dresses up too and we'd go to the gazebo and be one or two in the morning and we'd be drinking and getting high in there and it was our cool hangout spot and it, we even tied it down uh, we had stakes and we put them we tied the gazebo down the winds blew it across to the other side of the yard and totally ripped up the front and bent some of the steel beams so uh we're taking down the gazebo because the wind done fucked it up yeah so that wasn't fun and then halloween's not on halloween this week where i'm living because jesus that's so, that is so i like that kind of happens, yeah so like that is actually legislated that's well, fucked up. every city announces when trick or treating will be, like, oh, trick or treating will be this Halloween from five to eight. Be sure to be safe. Here are some tips, kids, on how to have a safe Halloween. Be sure and wear reflective clothing. Oh, every city does this, and it's always the same thing. Except this this week, like around Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm like, shit, is there gonna be a Halloween? What are all these goddamn fucking white wing, white skin Christians going to do with Halloween being on Jesus Day? Because it's interesting. I used to go to the movies on Mondays and Wednesdays, and when I would drive to the theater on Wednesdays, there'd be no traffic I, at all driving to the theater at like a 7 o'clock on a Wednesday because most of the town is at some sort of a Wednesday fucking church thing. And it's the same thing sometimes on Sundays where, like, you'll be driving around on Sunday and it's like, why is there no one on the road? Oh, shit, it's a 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Everyone's at fucking church. Okay, yes. And then around uh, from noon to 2 o'clock, basically it's a riot at every Cracker Barrel as all of the church people go and get lunch. So fucking the city announced that, like, yes, trick-or-treating will be happening this Saturday 
from five to eight. And I'm like, there you go. Okay. So Halloween's not on Halloween this year in our small ass fucking city. So I came up with, so I'm like, shit, the kids are going to be so disappointed that they won't be able to Halloween on Halloween. I need to come up with activities. So on Thursday, uh, there was trick or treating at the high school. Every different club had a booth in front of their door and they gave out candy and cookies and treats and they had games and that was from like 5.30 to 7.30. And so, and then I saw a local casino. They were doing drive through trick-or-treating from six to seven. And I'm like, this is what we do, honey. We get the kids, we put them in the costumes. You get off at five, we immediately go to the high school. We'll be there once their trick-or-treating starts and we should be able to get out of there and then head to the casino and do the drive through casino. And by the time we get home, they will have had two Halloween things. So that was our Thursday. We did that, and that was a whole bunch of fun. And then on Friday, one of the streets in town, MacArthur Street, they decided to have their first ever MacArthur Street trick-or-treat, where all of the different shops down that street was doing trick-or-treating. And so I I picked the kids up from school. I brought them home. We had a little snack. I put their Halloween costumes on and I drove to MacArthur Street and we walked all the way down the length of the street. They got free snow cones. They got free candy. They got some coupons. They got some toys. I got a, I got a, a lamp, like, like a flashlight, a super strong flashlight for emergencies. I got a free coffee. We got free uh, hot dogs. It was a whole bunch of fun and super exhausting. And so they had three days of trick-or-treating, and then I set up my Saturday to have a whole bunch of things. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go downtown. They're having trick-or-treating downtown. It's called Boo on Bell. It happens every year. We're going to go to that. Uh, But before that, oh, yes, before that, the mall is doing trick-or-treating, so we'll go to the mall, and then we'll go to Boo on Bell, and then once we're done with that, it'll be five, which is time to trick-or-treat. So we'll go to the rich neighborhood where all the white people give the good candy and we'll trick or treat there. And then that'll be like one, two, three, four, five, six different Halloweens before Halloween comes along. So we did Thursday and then we did Friday. And then we, I woke up early Saturday morning and the, and Eleanor's like, dad, I'm not feeling good, but I'm excited to go trick or treating. Hold on. Let me hold on. And they just vomited everywhere yeah and so that was fun and so they got sick yesterday and today they've had a fever that has been on and off i i now know that it's a cold it's 100 percent a cold it's officially a cold and and they're sick so they we didn't do any activities yesterday and i don't think we're going to do any activities today but thankfully because Thursday and Friday were so exhausting to them, both Eleanor and Maxwell are like, it's okay, we're not going trick-or-treating. So that was cool. And then yesterday, we, 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 we were home, we weren't going trick-or-treating, but we decorated the front yard and we cleaned it and we put some, of the, uh, some furniture up there and we, we, we sat there outside and we had our candy bucket waiting for trick-or-treaters to come and trick-or-treaters never showed up and that was fine because we were just hanging out and playing Halloween music and playing and, and uh, running around and it was just a whole bunch of fun. And then when we came home, uh, my, my wife and I had some drinks and we all played Jackbox together and it was a whole bunch of fun. And the kids, it, thankfully, because of Thursday and Friday, the kids are absolutely fine not doing anything else for Halloween. So uh, we have some pretty good kids. But Mal is really gunning to eat the Halloween candy that we bought for the trick or treaters. I yeah. I got half of what they got. They have whole bowls, and I only have that shitty tiny little bucket full. I know. You went I know. Twice. I'm not saying it was a bad thing. It's true that you're gunning for the candy bucket. I didn't. I you know no judgment. It's fine. It's cool, Daddy. Oh, it's cool, Daddy. Oh. So yeah, so that's been my Halloween. It's been a whole bunch of fun. Eleanor is sick, but they're starting to get better. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I 
don't have anything to go to report. Uh, what we did in shadows kind of covered that. YouTube sucks. YouTube sucks a lot. I don't know why uh, we tolerate. <laughs> I don't know why we tolerate YouTube, who just uses creators and tries to figure out any way possible to screw them out of being paid. That's YouTube. Funny. Uh, Funny. I'm sorry to have to interrupt you, but you see what I've got here? I've got Magneto hair. You see how my hair here is kind of swooping back to my ear and then coming down? Yeah, I got Magneto hair. Uh-huh. Really proud of that. I'm also a little bit high, but I wanted to show off my Magneto hair. See how it did that? Comic book Magneto hair. Not like movie Magneto hair, but I'm really proud of that. <laughs> there you go. <coughs> yes. Yes. Uh... So that's about it. That's about it. We can we can go take a break and head on out to the movie. Cool. I can't wait to talk about fun. this week's movie. I can't wait. This is a fun this is a fun movie to do this week. Yes. For Halloween. This is a good one. And I'm really excited about next week's movie. The what? I'm really excited about next week's movie. Uh oh. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm super excited. Yeah. yeah. Well, then let's move on in that case. Okay. And again, it happens just like every week. You know? Mm. Just earlier today, a kid knocked on my door and I thought it was a trick or treater, you know? Okay, yeah, kind of early. And I opened the door, and it wasn't a trick-or-treater, and this kid just looked at me and said, what do you think about self-adhesive tape? What did you say? And I looked that young man straight in the eye, and I said, self-adhesive tape? Yes, please. I love that. So until next week, well, cut yeah. on that. Cut on that.